Alright, welcome back to Oxygen uh, Not Included, I'm Major Freak, and this is the second part of the strategy session. Um, I've built up, uh, I've still got, I haven't reloaded uh, chapter 16, I've still got the same um, polluted water contamination thing. Uh, amazed that my entire base is just covered in contamination right now. Um, I have no idea why, but like I said, I didn't need to deal with that, so I'm going to not do that when I reload. Um, and I've tested out, uh, I wanted to build uh, another, and more, at least two more um, hatcheries down here, and it's working out fine. Um, I don't know where I put in an oxygen. I've got the, you know, of the dock and everything, and I, well, not the dock, but I've got the dock up here for this um, for this gateway, but I'm not sure where I want to put this one. Um, I'm thinking right now, uh, what's going through my brain is, do I put in an airlock here and make the make the airlock go out say here maybe um, once I dig down get it set up here I could make a um, route it through here and have the dock checkpoint here and then block this off and have them sent through here and then I can quickly deal with this area um, but at the same time all my dupes are Pretty, well, I'm sure they won't be idle because I'll have them doing so much stuff. Um, but having one dupe slowly dig away at this stuff with an oxygen mask seems to be possible. Um, I'm not sure if they'd work. I'm, I'm not sure how it'll work with an oxygen mask. I might, because if I... I don't I'm not sure I'm pretty sure if they put it on oxygen mass it'll last until they need to go to the on their break and they'll leave put away the oxygen mass so they they won't they won't run out of oxygen unless I somehow get them trapped in there I think anyway so what I'll probably do is have that checkpoint here send them down here dig out here and dig them dig it out uh, nine tiles this way, or probably ten. We'll do ten, ten by ten by six. That'll do it. And the the ladder I built before I saved and quit that last chapter uh, went down to here, so it's perfect. Ten by six, done. Um, and that includes the, the ladder area too. So that's done. It'll drop all the water down to here, um, assuming that I put it in the pump and fill up the water here. Uh, it'll probably be less than this because I haven't been doing any science and I'm using water, uh, pure water, for the science. And that'll that'll go from here. I'll. I'll not be doing this. I'll just leave it at the plumbing as is when I reload the uh, the chapter, the end of the last chapter, um, and I'll start running this uh, for clay uh, or refined, which turns coal and refined and clay into ceramic. I probably just do forever for both of them and just stop it at some point. I don't. I'll I'll figure it out as I go. Um, I've got a lot of coal, um, but only a little bit of clay. I don't know how much ceramic can I, I can actually make. That'll be interesting. I'll just run that. So I'll have the checkpoint here, and then what I'll most likely do is maybe yeah. Sorry, the checkpoint will be here or here. Hmm. 
Can I check, set up the checkpoint first? Yeah, because I can route. Let's see, the gas goes that way. I could just. It jumps over here. Goes up here, across here, down here to the to the masks, and that way I don't have to really worry about digging up this stuff. So that's good. Um, how much? Uh, I just not able to see the thing is I have the the amazing yeah it's probably not even made any ceramic yeah look at that um problem is that I have these doors in and next campaign I go through uh next game I play from start uh, I'll be ripping out uh definitely I think I've already gotten rid of the double bed. I'll be getting rid of the this insulated self-sealing airlock because it's just so OP. It's just so amazingly OP. It just feels like I'm cheating so much. And it's 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 reducing the enjoyability of the game. The problem is it's like how the hell did this get so How did you get so hot? This is insulated self sealing you're not. And I haven't been running this at all, nor this, nor this, nor this. So where's the heat coming from? I've got insulated. <clears throat> What's that? Is it skipping off heat? How much heat? Plus 50. Is that really what's causing the heat? Um, seems to be a bit bizarre. Like what? Like this is self-sealing, so, and it's insulated. So where, where's the heat coming from? All this is insulated, so it's contained, and it's 27 degrees, so 33, 32, 36, 37, 36, 36, 36, 35, 41, and you are definitely not going to be able to work. That. Hmm. Where is the temperature coming from? 37. It's like I'm not going through here anymore. I might need to put in sand, but rarely. Is it coming from here? Is it really all these lamps that are doing it? It might be. Good lord. Wow. Hmm. Well, the nice thing is, if you look here, this is just a pneumatic door, and it's not... There's no issues with heat in here, which is great. put in uh, um, sorry I'll, I'll definitely put in 
less labs <laughs> um, and attach it to uh, if I attach um, automation strips to them to the modules and the, the science machines then you know one each that'll turn it all off and I'll get a third of the heat coming out I guess how much are these giving out okay when they're on it goes a thousand and you just do 500 so it could be it could be that this one and this one are being used a lot which ones are you using that's you're not doing anything so that's not being used this will be used and this will be used so I'm assuming it's this this and this do I really need to transit out of generators well I have a wheeze wart didn't I I had a wheeze wart so I could put the wheeze wart it looks like the hottest I'm betting it's these three laps that are just on all the time. Um, I could probably put the weasel wart right, right here, I'm guessing. Like, what's this storing? Just algae. Um, I could just switch, make this algae in this um, the copper ore area. Um, <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, if I put in a wheeze wart here, that would help cool down the area. Anyways, um, sorry. Uh, my main issue is learning how to do spawns, uh, because I'll eventually need to transit. I've got a lot of algae. It's <laughs> just an amazing amount of algae. But um, I think I need to start thinking about getting in more oxygen, especially in the lower areas. Um, And if I do it that way, I won't really have the need to use these a lot, right? And that would... It's great because they train up their aesthetics and machinery, which is great. Um, especially for, for my super... Is she maxed out, by the way? Uh, where is Ellie? Ellie, where are you? Right, Ellie has... Machinery 7... Oh, total machinery eleven, um, aesthetics eleven. Yeah, so she's uh, she's getting up there. Uh, maximum is twenty apparently. Pretty funny, huh? Um, so yeah, the the little hamster wheels are are great. They're just adding to heat. Um, what's the heat given off by this? Okay, quite a bit. So yeah, I'll what I'll probably do. How much heat are you giving off? Nothing. Okay, great. Um, that's cool. Uh, how much heat are you giving off? Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, totally right. This is, has to be the source of the heat. Okay, so two there, one there. Yeah, if I put the Weezwort there, that might actually help a hell of a lot. Okay, so... The spawn will go in here. The carbon skimmer, self-contained carbon, carbon skiller will go in here as well. Um, I'll want one. So that's hatchery, 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 hatchery. Um, sorry, um, not hatchery. Um, so one, two, three. So I've got three hatcheries going. How much igneous rock do I have to play with? 15 tons. I could probably get some stone. No, I need sedimentary rock out of that. So this is my feed for making stone hatches. All right. So if I have 
two hatcheries for normal hatches. And then I'll make a third one once it's all set up. I'll make a third one um, and hope and feed them sedimentary rock. And hopefully I'll get a couple of eggs for that, dump them in there, and eventually have the stone hatchery here. And I'll have this here. So this I can eventually expand into once all the water goes because I'm pr fairly sure that the science I'll do will eventually drain everything. Um, so that'll be clear again. So that could be for another stone hatchery eventually. Um, so what I'll want to do is probably make the self-contained uh, spawn and for oxygen down here and then the carbon skimmer down here right um, I could go all the way to here and I could probably put in a pump um, what's that so well, I'll probably I'll probably deal with this later I'll probably push it this way um, I could dig it down here and then have it pulled over here and I can anyways whatever um, so yeah, the spawn here. Uh, I'll push it this way, and I'll put way down here the self-contained. Um, I know it's kind of weird. Uh, I might have, to, I don't know, um, spawn emitter, and then I'll have hatchery here, and eventually here. So yeah, the, um, the electrolyzer will be here. I mean, not the electrolyzer. Sorry, that's. Uh, the carbon skimmer and the sieve self-contained unit here. Um, oops. Um, and yeah, I definitely need more food. I'm pretty sure it was uh, starvation um, that did it. Now I don't know why they're all starving. I thought once one would die off, you'd get. morning you'd get uh, you get less food eaten but it could be that there's so much to do that they just don't have time to harvest I don't know whatever um, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it I'm just assuming I'm just not paying attention to anything that's why they're dying okay so um high stress whoopsie Could also be the reason. Whoops. Okay. Um, so let's see now. Um, also, I, I'm really interested in getting. Where is it? Uh, the refinery? Is it this sucker? oil refinery and plastic manufacturing this would be great you know uh, and I'm really interested in conductive wire to because it'll carry 2k instead of 1k which is really cool but I'm sure it is very expensive um, so yeah the first thing I'll do is is probably go straight for here um, there are some very interesting uh, automation stuff I've learned about so I'll definitely want to get more than just the basic um, um, I think I need this I, uh, this is probably not what I need so I don't need an extra level of science yet uh, multiplexing I don't need so yeah, I'll definitely need this for sure as well. Um, queue at that, yay for that mod. Um, and as soon as I've got plastics, then I can get the high pressure gas vent. Oh, it's just gonna be great. Um, so yeah, then I can really start having fun because I've never actually gotten plastics ever once. So that'll be a major milestone. And I'll definitely pass it on this playthrough for sure. I'm almost certain. 
So yeah, that'll be fun. And I'll probably... Where would I have it? It gives off so much heat. Um, most, and how is the heat being contained? How is the heat con containment here? Pretty damn good, huh? Yeah. This, of course, is hilariously overpowered. Um, I'll pro what I'll most likely do is um, get in and uh, drop down the mod to uh, a, a just an insulating airlock, not a self-sealing airlock. Uh, it just feels so overpowered. Um, <laughs> it sure does. I, I don't, as you can see, my base doesn't have any deodorizers because it's so powerful, which unfortunately means I'm not really farming uh, any clay um, for the kiln for ceramics, which is a detriment, actually. It's kind of funny. Um, okay, so I think that's about it that I wanted to cover. I just forgot to mention it in the last video. I'm like, oops, that video need to be a bit longer. But yeah, um, so probably around here like here will be the uh the plastics refinery here will be the spawn here will be the carbon skimmer i'll eventually have four hatchery levels um which is probably way more than i i would need and up here i'm trying to set up a coherent um hatchery system uh, and I'm setting up in a way that I'll eventually think I'll be able to automate it but I'll have to really watch say Francis John or, or Magnet maybe um, how to do the hatcheries automation I think I actually need to watch an automation tutorial because the last time I tried it I th think I totally screwed it up big time I was having coal go here and 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 eggs go here <laughs> it's kind of crazy um so yeah um yeah too bad about the clay um that might be a game ender uh realizing that i'll probably have to replace these out probably get it set up for um, deodorizers then just make plain airlocks out of these um, and just strip the self-sealing airlocks out um, just to see how the game will run it's, yeah it's just literally overpowered all right so um that's about it that I'm thinking about doing right now I'd really like to start taking advantage of polluted, polluted water um, especially for I don't I don't know what yet I've forgotten it I've just got so much on my plate right um, zoom out a bit like I haven't really taken advantage ever of any of the weird biomes in this area uh, yet in this game um, I've done it I've tried to take baby steps but it's never been more complicated than uh, an airlock and some ladders pretty much um, yeah but definitely plastics number one that would be so fun um, and then obviously uh, isolating this and then sending people out in exosuits which I've never actually done either so it'll be kind of fun but yeah, I definitely want to transition out of using insulated self-sealing. It just, it's just amazing, but yeah, it's just, it's taking so much away from my game that I need to learn about. Uh, it's kind of like a cheat. Okay, so, Slickster's going great. I'm really happy about that. Temperatures are fine. I'm really happy about that. Um get a wheeze ward in right here I guess um, 
a white right here, sorry. Um, yeah. Put in more automation, cut down the power a bit because of the heat. Um, is this heating up? This probably. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just need automation wires. Uh, I no, I don't really think this is affecting much, comparatively. Uh, how much heat? Ooh, that's quite a lot of heat, actually. Hmm. How much heat is this giving off, in comparison? Heat. Th almost three times less. So I might... I might replace these with smart batteries, honestly. I'd like to rethink this in order to have not such a mess of wires in here, but for now I'm just going to ignore it. Um, I might have an idea about it later, uh, but for now, yeah. Um, And besides the, no, the spawn will just be self-contained, so I don't worry about that. Right, anyways, yeah, digging down here. Copper ore. I want some gold am am amalgam, of course, for the spawn. Um, that'll be gotten through here and here easy enough and then there's the I need sedimentary rock for the stone hatches uh, I think there's a Where's a reliable source that isn't close to? Yeah, it's pretty much all kind of hugging the algae. The slime, I mean. Probably. I know there's like. I've already gotten. Yeah, I've already gotten the sedimentary rock I could get. I could probably go for the. <laughs> yeah. Kind of tricky, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I could probably get. Yeah, it'll be pretty sketchy. But yeah, I'll, I'll want the gold amalgam, and I'll want the. Uh, so yeah, it'll be definitely going through up here to get or sorry going up here and through here to get that and up here um, I I'm pretty sure I think the last if I remember correctly one one incubator will take care of five hatches so if I have set up seven in each one, two three four times seven what 28 and that's almost 30 so if I have five incubators that'll take care of things completely um, or even four really honestly um, if I have four three 20 no 27 no wait three times no oh my god my brain's done three times seven is 21 yeah so 21 okay so if I only make three hatcheries I can get away with four and I believe 
I can have one automation thing reach all four of them. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we'll only go with three hatcheries. I don't need to be greedy because I think three hatcheries fully running and slowly morphing them into... Um, yeah, if I have it all controlled, I could have one extra and I could probably power it and use it to grow the stone hatches. That's what I'll do. I'll have this one for the stone hatcheries and these for the normal. Cool, and these will be unpowered and this will be powered. And then I can, I, I need to put in an egg cracker right away. Uh, probably deconstruct this, I'm not using it right now. Deconstruct this egg cracker. Um, and eventually, apparently, you can go straight to meat instead of cracking the egg. You can just drown the, you can put the eggs in water and cover it over with a door and kind of, or, uh, a, bleh, um, a pneumatic door, um, turn sideways. I think you can do that. Yeah, I mean, this, I've never actually, I don't actually like doing it, but you can totally do it. Okay, so... Yeah, I'll probably have... Where would I put it? I'd probably just deconstruct the egg cracker and put in the... Oh, I'll figure it out. Maybe up here. I'll drown them over here. The evolution chamber is... Uh, Francis John <laughs> calls it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's a long-term plan, focusing on the hatcheries. So only three hatcheries. So down here... If I put the spawn here, I could... If I put the spawn here... I could also... Or I could... Could I put the um Here? Give me a sec. I'm going to take a look at it. Could I? I mean, there's no reason why it needs to go. This is four and four, but could I just have it? Let's see, uh, onto the same grid. That's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, so it's 16 across and 4 up for both of them, right? I think so. Okay, do I have that space? Sixteen that way, and whoops, sorry. Um, right here would be the door, ideally. Um, well, it wouldn't be a door, right? It'd just be a wall. I wouldn't even need to, to go in there, really, technically. So that would be six this way, and sixteen. So I could have the first level of the spawn there. And then I'd need the second level down. So I guess I'd put my self-contained electrolyzer here somewhere. Where I go it, I'd go. That would be the spawn, basically. Right there. That's the spawn, right there. 
is surrounded by insulated. So I'd need to push the algae, which shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. I can make it smaller, like if there's smaller versions, I'm, I'm sure. Give me a sec. Uh, I think this this one needs. I'll have to rewatch it. Actually, I think this one needs. Um, yeah, I'll definitely have to do that. Decide. Um, I could probably go with this one. And it's pumping out hydrogen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eight. Ten by eight. Did that include the wall? I believe so. Ten by eight. And I can pipe it out to a hydrogen. I could make the hydrogen area right here. So as long as it's there, got the hydrogen going out to here, or even on in this I could have it uh, the heat don't worry about heat though whatever I've got all the space I can work with to make that happen yes yeah, so the last thing I want to do is get to a point of no return and realize I need to reload so I'd rather do this strategy session before I start up the campaign again. Mainly because I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> just none. I'm just watching tutorials right now. Uh, I, this is beyond... This is beyond my ken right now. Uh, this is... This is the maximum I've ever gotten uh, in the game. Uh, without falling on my face uh, so everything beyond now is just there be dragons I have gotten automations up before uh, but it never worked out right so yeah. the last thing I want to do is think about restarting the campaign because I think I'm doing okay right now I think I think what I've got going will be survival especially now that i have a wart wheat a wart seed you know that'll be the key to uh for my new level of controlling the heat can't think of anything else really I'd like to get one more dupe but as you saw I was just I am hovering on the brink of starvation at all times so I need to get an egg cracker in I need to get get my ass on that um, I need to start feeding my dupes uh, more have that extra hatchery in, get it going um, just survive I think I'll be okay. Um, I 
the heat's pretty crazy right here actually I'm actually quite surprised it's so high is it this kiln like how hot is this area Yeah, I'm pretty amazed. I wonder if this heat was... All this heat, basically, right here, is generated... Because this this is impossible heat. It's like, what the hell? Um, so, yeah, I'm betting it's the kill. I'm just going, like, bananas. Uh, where would I dig to? Um... I don't think I have to man the kiln as it's cooking. So I could I could come all the way here and put it here. I mean how hot is it over here? Right? I could take this way into here and this place won't care about the heat. So I go all the way over here and turn on the kiln. That could be an idea. And then, yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting to uh, see if it really was the kiln after a while, if this place overheats as well. Um, then I'll be like, hmm, that's weird. Uh, but yeah, I'll bet it was the kiln. Okay. I think that's about it. Where would I put my dock, though? That's the biggest bother. Planning on putting it here. Making one dupe go down here. I think I'm doing okay on air pressure. I'm doing great on algae. So I could potentially stretch it to, you know, two masks here and another one here. So I could go two here and then two here. And cross my fingers and hope that doesn't totally annihilate my uh, my oxygen Two docks here and just keep one dock here and then if that is okay then I'll go to two here and leave two here and if that's okay I'll put three here and I can't do any more so but I, I think at, if I have five it'll really push the system for oxygen so I'll definitely need that uh, that spawn in here and that's my thinking I think any beyond that is just like derp I don't think I've forgotten any real needs. Uh, let's check power. Heat. Lighting. Um, how's my decor, by the way? Pretty shitty. I need to get the decor in right. I need to get more uh, hanging plants and all that stuff. Um, of course, get their stress managed, right? Um, I've got that, so I've got them all. I could put in a, I could definitely start doing it up with the uh, the decor right now. Yeah, okay. Um, lighting. Yeah, I'm just gonna control it with the automation. I have hardly any automation right now. Uh, I've got my room set up. I'm happy. Oh, the toilet. Why aren't you at... <gasps> Son of a... Really? I didn't know that. Huh. Now I know that this is not needed 
from what I've learned about piping and plumbing and all that stuff is because if I just have this um, I think what I can do is route this through here up here and have the vent here and have an automation that detects oxygen and that will um, enable this so the oxygen goes out here and um, I'll have it attached directly on top of the pipe right um, and then moving through here so this this will be right here going through here and the automation will detect any like probably right here detect um, oxygen it'll enable that that'll that'll I think do it properly and, and send out the oxygen uh, I'll have to relook at that video I think it was by magnet at some point and then it that'll deal with it and that would mean there's no industrial in here and that would do it it's not really I don't think it's really needed I don't think it's absolutely necessary um, that I have a well it'd be nice if I had an extra strong ability to protect this area from being um, but after a while it's all going to be honestly it'll just all be polluted right um, whoops. Well, it's not really, is it? Oh, this is... Sorry, what am I talking about? This is a self-sealing, so of course it's not going to be any... Alright. I'll definitely have an airlock there, for sure. Um, and that will make, kind of control it. But if I can have... Uh, because oxygen will get in here, because it, it won't be self-sealing. Um, and then it'll get out here and what I'll do is that's what I'll do and then I'll have um, uh, deodorizers um, I had spaces for here here and here uh, and then I uh, and that should contain it honestly I won't I'll probably I'll probably just ignore it I'll probably just turn this off completely and go I'm just gonna pretend you're a wall um, but yeah that's that's the plan for getting rid of the OP stuff and starting to uh, you know farm some and I'm pretty sure deodorizers aren't considered industrial right I'm hoping tells me if it's but let's do that before I start getting ahead of myself here. I might place that and we'll destruct that. So that's fine, so I'll be able to start getting clay, which would be great. Um, slowly. I don't think I need a lot of clay, but we'll figure that out as I get to it. And of course, the, once I get down to the... Uh, start trying to deal with the, this area, I'll be getting lots of clay from the deodorators. Um, turn 60 and I have how much crude oil do I have I've only got which is amazing I've only got a total of G 
Jeez, less than 50 kilograms crude oil. And it's cycle 60? Rut row. Yeah, this might be actually pathetic. <laughs> it might be a situation where I'm not really getting the crude oil I was expecting out of this, but it'll be nice to uh, make plastic. If I can make one unit of plastic, uh, I figure job's done for this entire campaign. That was my goal, um, and I'll be happy about that, regardless of what happens to this colony, colony or not after that. Um, yeah, it's basically gets yeah, lots of decor, build lots of decor. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have quite the build order set up by the time I reload the main campaign. And hopefully I've not forgotten anything. Uh, research. I can't think of anything new to build. Have I forgotten? I might want to put refrigerators in, in the kitchen. Uh, to help that out. But I'm eating so much of it, I don't really need it right now. Um, I tried a jukebox, that was hilarious, not, no. Um, I'm going to avoid automation for now. Um, going to avoid the sweepy for now, unless I find a real good use for it. Um, it's pipe now with the mod. I think I already mentioned that. Um, or scrubber on raw ore. That wouldn't include refined ore, unfortunately. Anyways, whatever. Desalinator. Okay. Probably not. don't think I need a space heater for my slicksters because we're doing great for heat there. A gas reservoir? Yeah, that's another spawn thing. But, well, I'm not aiming for that type of spawn at the moment. Um, yeah, this, this is way... Once I get plastics I'll be over the moon so that that's for that um, yeah I that's yeah that's that's the goal oil refinery plastics spawn and carbon skimmer and then dealing with it dealing with these doors dealing with this put it over here uh, yeah cool done 